Hi Simply Natural Women, welcome to another educational video on natural remedies that can support our healthcare journeys. Today we are looking at green tea and its use in treating fibroids. I know you've heard a lot but I'm here with carefully checked facts to teach you about how green tea measures up for fibroid treatments. Before we start, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, green tea is derived from the leaves of the Camellia sinensis plant. It's a widely consumed beverage known for its potential health benefits. It contains bioactive compounds like catechins and epigallocatechin gallate. I know that's a mouthful. Let's call it EGCG. That sounds simpler, doesn't it? <laughs> These compounds are believed to have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Green tea has gained attention for its potential role in hormone regulation and antioxidant effects, which may be relevant to treating fibroids. But it's important to note that the available scientific evidence is very small and we need more research to understand how really how effective it is and how it works. But let's look at some things, some facts that we know. We have limited studies that suggest green tea may have potential benefits for treating fibroids, including reducing fibroid size and improving associated symptoms. The other thing to note, and this looks like a limitation, is that the effectiveness of green tea may vary from one woman to another and its impact on fibroids may also depend on other things like how severe are the fibroids, what are the hormone levels in each person like and of course overall health. The other thing to note is that green tea may be more effective in managing symptoms and may be preventing further growth of the fibroid rather than directly shrinking a fibroid that exists. So with all that said, let's take a closer look at the potential benefits of green tea for fibroids. We think that its antioxidant properties may help combat oxidative stress. That is believed to play a role in the development and growth of fibroids. It's also felt that green tea might have anti-inflammatory effects that would help to calm the symptoms of fibroids like pain and other inflammation associated with fibroids. It is thought to have an impact on hormone regulation and thus to manage symptoms. Those catechins I mentioned earlier, we think they can modulate the metabolism of estrogen which means they can reduce the activity of estrogen, potentially helping to balance the hormone levels associated with fibroid. So in other words, by reducing estrogen dominance, green tea may relieve the symptoms and so prevent further growth of fibroids. What about safety? We need to talk about safety. It is important, even though it's a herb, Okay, it's important to talk about this. Now, green tea is thought to be generally safe for consumption and adverse effects are not very common. But if you take it excessively, especially if it's in concentrated supplements or extracts, you may develop caffeine-related side effects like feeling jittery, anxious or irritable, poor sleep or trouble with your tummy, digestion problems. And so if you're sensitive to caffeine, please monitor your intake and you may consider decaffeinated green tea options. It is advisable to consult with your doctor, particularly if you have any pre-existing medical conditions or if you're taking medications at the same time for some condition or the other or you're pregnant and breastfeeding. Remember that green tea contains caffeine and may interact with certain medicines like blood thinners, stimulants, or medicines that you take for heart problems. Now let's talk about how you can take green tea. Now, 
in terms of any recommended dose for green tea um, specifically for fibroid treatment there isn't a standard dose which is one of the troubles really but it's thought that if you take two to three cups of green tea every day brewed from tea bags or loose leaves that may help with some of the benefits we've talked about earlier that is helping with symptoms and preventing further growth of the fibroid but while you're taking it please remember it's important to monitor your intake of caffeine and adjust the amount you're taking based on your tolerance and sensitivity how can you then incorporate green tea into your daily routine you can have it as a beverage by steeping tea bags or loose leaves in hot water for two to three minutes it is recommended to avoid adding milk or sweetness to get the maximum benefits because these may interfere with the absorption of certain compounds green tea can be consumed throughout the day as part of a balanced diet and healthy lifestyle why don't we take a little look at the quality and source that is how important it is to make sure you're choosing high quality green tea products there are variations in the quality and purity of green tea products my sisters and the quality can vary depending on the harvesting methods the way they've processed the green tea and the storage of the green tea before it gets into the shop make sure you're choosing reputable brands or sources that prioritize quality control just to make sure that what you're getting is the most pure and potent form we think you should look for green tea products that indicate the origin of the tea leaves you know that certain parts of the world are known for producing high quality tea china of course is the top but india kenya sri lanka and vietnam are also amongst top green tea producers in the world go for organic or pesticide free green tea to minimize potential exposure to harmful substances so to brew your perfect cup of green tea and to extract the maximum beneficial compounds steep the tea bags or the loose leaves in water heated approximately to 80 to 85 degrees and like i said before letting it steep for about two to three minutes is usually sufficient but of course you can apply your own preference make sure you are storing your green tea in a cool dry place away from light and moisture to preserve its freshness and quality seal the tea bags or the tea leaves tightly after every use to prevent any exposure to air and maintain your flavor and potency seal the tea leaves or tea bags tightly after every use to prevent being exposed to air and to maintain its flavor and potency so now my friends let's look at some frequently asked questions i've covered some of these things a little but it will be nice to have a bit of a summary first how does green tea work for fibroid treatment i know you want to know green tea might work for fibroid treatment through its antioxidant properties and hormone regulating effects the active compounds in green tea like catechins and egcg have been found to modulate estrogen metabolism and reduce estrogen activity which we think may help balance hormone levels for people with fibroids and of course in addition the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties of green tea may contribute to relieving symptoms and preventing future fibroid growth so that's how it works the second question can green tea shrink fibroids completely green tea is unlikely to shrink fibroids completely on its own now while it may have potential benefits for treatment the effectiveness can vary from one woman to another and the impact on the fibroid size will also depend on other things like how severe is the fibroid and your individual hormone levels so green tea may relieve symptoms and prevent future fibroid growth and, prov and provide 
overall reproductive health. Question three, how long does it take to see the results with green tea? The timeline for seeing results with green tea can be different among women. Some of you may start noticing improvement in symptoms like reduced menstrual flow or reduced pelvic pain within a few weeks to months of regular use. But the response may be gradual and you may need to use it long term to observe significant changes in your condition. Number four, can green tea prevent fibroids from coming back? The ability of green tea to prevent fibroids from recurring, it needs to be well established. It may help to balance hormones. It may reduce the risk of estrogen dominance, but for fibroids to grow back, there may be other factors that have nothing to do with green tea. For example, your family history, background, your genetics, lifestyle and hormone fluctuations. So adding green tea into a comprehensive approach for treating your fibroids and your diet and lifestyle modi modifications, that's a good idea. But individual results may be different. I would love you to remember that. Number five, are there any specific dietary or lifestyle changes recommended alongside using green tea? Well, yes, because green tea, it can support a hormone balance while a healthy lifestyle and diet can complement its effect. So think about a nutrient rich diet, maintaining a healthy weight, managing stress, avoiding exposure to environmental toxins. All of these will help support your overall health and reproductive health as well as manage those fibroids it is important if you need to please con it is important to have a chat with your doctor or healthcare provider or dietitian about personal dietary and lifestyle recommendations is green tea known to cause hormone imbalances now we're on to question number six so green tea is primarily known for its potential to help to balance hormone levels. But our responses from one woman to another might be different. And if you take excessive quantities, especially those concentrated supplement forms, it could affect your hormone balance. So please be careful. It's important that you consume green tea in moderation. And if you have any hormone related conditions, please speak to your doctor first. Number seven, are there any age restrictions or limitations for using green tea for fibroid treatment? Green tea can generally be consumed by individuals of various ages, but remember it's got caffeine and that can affect different groups differently. So please be careful, pregnant ladies, breastfeeding sisters, and any ladies with specific medical conditions, please talk to your doctor before um, checking out green tea or other supplements for that matter and number eight what should you do if you develop any side effects while using green tea so suppose you experience any adverse effects like a, an upset tummy trouble sleeping please reduce your intake or just stop taking it because it doesn't agree with you and I've said this before, but monitoring your caffeine intake uh, using uh, decaffeinated green tea or spacing out how much you're having it throughout the, the, the week or the, during the day might be one option for somebody who has troublesome effects. The adverse effects can be different amongst different individuals. Um, we've talked about digestive problems and that can include um, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Some people may have sensitivity or allergic reactions as well. So stop using the green tea, okay? Um, and observe to see if those adverse effects settle down. If they don't or they're getting worse, please seek urgent medical attention, okay, to get yourself checked over. Is green tea approved by any regulatory bodies? Well, in the US, for example, the FDA does not specifically approve or regulate green tea for treating fibroids. It's considered a dietary supplement and its use for fibroid is generally based on its potential health benefits and traditional use. 
While green tea has been studied for its various health properties and may offer certain benefits, don't forget that the scientific evidence for how effective it is for fibroids is still limited. So important to speak with your doctor, make sure you're getting advice that is personal for you um, regarding the use of green tea or any other treatments, any other herbal treatments for fibroids. How do I choose the right green tea supplement for my specific condition, for your specific fibroid type? Well, we've mentioned some of this already, but look at the quality. Go for reputable brands, prioritizing quality control measures and sourcing green tea from trusted suppliers. And of course, consider organic options to reduce any exposure to pesticides and contaminants. If you're taking supplements, look for those with the standardized extracts of green tea because that makes sure that you're getting consistent levels of the active compounds like EGCG. Please pay attention to the dose instructions and the concentration of the active compounds in the supplement or the tea leaves or bags. Green tea supplements are available in various forms. We've talked about the leaves, the bags, but they may be available as powders or tablets and capsules. You can choose the option that suits you best. Some supplements may contain additional ingredients for specific purposes, for example, to help your body absorb them better or just complementary herbal extracts. It's also important to think about whether those extra ingredients could interact with any other medicines you're taking or affect you if you have a pre-existing condition. Also consider the manufacturer, research their brand and check out customer reviews to see if you can get any insights about how effective the product is, its quality and so on. So my lovely ladies, green tea shows promise as a potential herbal supplement for fibroid treatment because of its antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and hormone regulating properties. Now while scientific evidence is limited, Green tea may help reduce fibroid size. It may help to calm some symptoms and support overall reproductive health in some ladies. Please consult with your doctor or other healthcare professional before adding green tea to your routine, especially if you have pre-existing medical conditions or take any medication. And don't forget that just as it is with any supplement, the way you respond might be different from the way I respond. And so it should be used as a comprehensive approach to fibroids. Include medical advice from your doctor, healthy lifestyle practices, and any other treatment options that they've recommended. Thank you so much for listening. Let me know if you found this video helpful. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again soon. Bye now.